plasma. Remember the plasma thing? Hey, what's up, you guys? Shardimus Prime here, doing another Kotobukiya statue review on the Halo 4 video game Mjolnir Mark V and Mark VI 110 scale artifacts plus statues. For sure, pre order these, you can do so at Biggity Big. Big, big, big. Get your big badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. Well, thanks so much to Kotobukiya for making this review possible. If you want to see the latest from them, check the links below. And you can see we get a tech suit. We get two tech suits with this, and you can see the Mark VI armor right there on the side, and then we get the blue Mark V armor right over there. And then on the back, you can see how you can put the armor together and everything, and then you can have the Master Chief set up right over here, so I've reviewed these already. And then on the top, it just says Halo right over there, and then at the bottom, not much going on. All right, let's get to it and crack this one open. Man, here's the blue Mark V and the red Mark VI out of the packaging. Both great looking statues. I really like the designs for these, especially for this red Mark VI over here. I really like that one a lot. Both very cool. And putting these together is very easy, just like with the other Halo statues I reviewed recently. These guys come with this set of instructions and you just add all the pieces on there. It's very easy to do, as you can see right here. Putting this together is very simple. And I really like that these guys have articulation. Kotobukiya adding articulation to their statues, I think is a very, very smart move and I think it's very cool. And these guys do have accessories and interchangeable hands as well. Now, I mentioned already earlier that each of these guys come with their own tech suits, so you don't have to buy that separately, but if you want to buy one of these separately, that's what it looks like right over there. And these tech suits are compatible with other Halo statues. And these guys have the same exact number of accessories right over here. So you can see that they each have their own plasma sword. They each have their own magnum over here. And then they each come with a pair of fisted hands. Then you get a left open hand right over here. And then you get a magnum holding hand, which you can see right here. The red one is actually holding it already. And then you get a plasma sword holding hand. And as you can see, the Mark VI is, or the Mark V anyway, is holding this one right here. I'm getting a closer look at the plasma sword. I really like this translucent blue plastic once again. Again, really nice teal colors over it and everything just looks really good and the magnums look pretty good too nice color variation on there not a whole ton but just enough I like that kind of has a metallic look right over there towards the handle so it looks pretty good and all the hands for both of these have some really nice paint detail added to them I really like this little silver dry brushing that we could see around the edges right there and then of course they each have their own magnetic plaques that say halo at the bottom I really like that and they both have the magnetized feet as well so here's looking at the helmet sculpt for the blue mark 5 which looks pretty good I'm just not a huge fan of this design. I think Kotobukiya did a good job of painting this. I really like that orange fade into yellow over there. I think that looks really good. Get some nice etched out detail right there for the vents and everything. Get that nice gunmetal color towards the back of the helmet. Some nice little details right there with the silver piece. But other than that, it doesn't look like there's a whole ton going on right here with this particular helmet sculpt. I can't say I'm too impressed by the design by it, but I think the statue was executed pretty well. And then looking at the rest of this, it has this nice color blue. I really like this dry brushing right over here that we see along the edges. I think that looks fantastic. You get all these little pouches right there on the side. Nice attention to detail with the silver paint apps. I think that looks really good. The arms look really good on this guy too. I really like that silver coloring. And looking on the inside of the arm looks really nice as well. And again, switching these hands in and out, you don't really have a solid pressure point, so this gets a little flimsy on you when you do it, but you know, it's nothing to, it's not really that much to complain about really. Still looks really, really nice. And you have the crotch guard, you get the butt guard. And get these nice thigh pieces right over here. I wish these shin guards had something around the back. Looking on the back of it, it looks kind of empty and scrawny looking. But, you know, on the front, it looks pretty good. And looking at the boots right over here, you get that nice gunmetal color with tads of little silver dry brushing right there, which I think is fantastic. I actually love that. And then in case you wanted to know, the statue will stand without the magnet base, but I recommend leaving him on the base. Now, he does have the articulation of moving the head side to side. He can look up a little bit and move down. You do get some head pivot in here as well. The shoulders move outward. They move forward. You get a bicep swivel, a single jointed elbow, and then you get a wrist swivel. And then we also get a diaphragm joint that turns side to side a little Little bit you get some pivot and a little bit of ab crunching right there and again these head pieces just like to come off very easily so here's looking at the red mark six and you can see it does have the same head sculpt as the blue mark six right over there i just think this is just a much better sculpt as far as the helmet goes i really like all these paint apps too a lot more detail i think than this blue mark five that we just saw I just really like this detail that we see on this one. I think it's really cool, and I really like this red color. I'm typically not a big fan of the orangish red, but on this one, I dig it. I'm looking on the back right here, I think this looks really nice. Then you can see how this connects around the front. A lot of nice paint apps right over there. And I think the contrast between the red and the tech suit just looks really good, too. 
Really like that. You got the UNSC. Oh, I said it right. And then looking right here. And then there's the inside of the arm with some nice details. He's holding the Magnum. Now there's a little bit of the silver dry brushing on this. I wish it did have a little bit more. Like on the chest area right over there. I feel like they could have used some more of the silver dry brushing, which I really like a lot. But still, a lot of nice paint apps on this. And I really like the sculpt. And unlike the Mark V, I think the legs are nicely filled out right over here on the back. So I think this looks really good. If you want to get creative and you want to mash up the armor over here, you can do so. I have this Shardimus version right there. And then here's the other one mixed up the same way, you know? So that looks pretty cool. I don't know. I think I like this one more. And the fact that Kotobukiya put letters on the inside of the armor pieces right here makes it really easy to do it as well. Now these are 1 10th scale statues and they're both standing at about 8 inches tall. And then here's the blue Mark V next to the green Mark V. And then we have the red Mark VI next to the blue Mark VI. I think out of all four of these, my favorite one is still this blue Mark 6 right here. And then here's the blue Mark 5 and red Mark 6 next to the first Master Chief statue I reviewed. And then here they are next to the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider-Man. So again, I think these are both very good looking statues. I love that Kotobukiya is giving us articulated statues. Even though they only have 10 points of articulation, I think it's a very smart and awesome move. My only real gripe with these, my biggest complaint is that I just don't feel like the heads stay on well enough. But even so, you can still get them posed around and they'll stay on there as long as you don't shake the hell out of them. Anyway, I hope you guys liked my review. If you did, please hit the like button. Click any of these boxes right over here if you want more shart in your face. If you're 18 years of age or older, please check out the Patreon account. Your guys' help is much appreciated. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Twitter and Instagram and go to toynewseye.com for a photo gallery of images from this review. I'll catch you guys later. Peace. Posing action figures, posing action figures, posing action figures every day. I'm posing action figures, I'm posing action figures, I'm posing action figures, it's okay. That's crispy. And then the, and the fact that and the fact